It's Roger at Mudfossil University. Today we're going to go over the experiment that um, Rod Warren and I did several years ago using a laser and um, construction nails. Now Rod did was doing double slit experiments and decided instead of using the regular slits he would use these construction nails to he just had them laying around so he tried it and he was using this exact same laser the Bosch GLM 15 and here's here's and I, and then I, and then I recreated the same thing here he came up with this design just accidentally and 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 was posting these pictures on on the internet and um and nobody and say this still nobody understands them so that's why I need to, to have everybody else try to recreate this now saying this nobody did understand him and nobody still does understand him but what is happening here is he's accelerating light and what he did was he created a venturi so I did the same thing I can do the same thing here but his pictures are just absolutely phenomenal when you see him you're gonna blow your mind and you can do this in your own house it's just right in your garage he's in his garage in a darkened garage no special anything just dark you know not completely dark but enough so that it, you got a good highlight of the lights now when it shines through the, the the construction nails they create a venturi and they come out of here extremely energized this I will show you so you got your pulse laser which is this Bosch you've got the construction nails you've got the high energy coming out they come out on these little trails then they create these big fluffy fields and then they turn into their regular little light particles and all the time they're exciting all of the ether that is in the air which ether is nothing more than static electricity static electricity is what collects on your clothes when you're in a dry condition and they just sort of fall off of things and collect on you because you have some moisture on you but if you touch a water pipe it says whoa there's a place to go and they jump off of you they are particles they are the ether they are the things we will be seeing in this experiments now I'm going to show you and all he used was a cell phone and uh, he used I think a Samsung uh, now I'm going to show you how this laser works and well I mean everybody knows how a laser works but I had I had a whole batch of other stuff here these these prisms and things and 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 you can have some stunning things you can do all kinds of fabulous stuff with these lasers and, and some prisms and these nails and 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 in a darkened room and through screens and all kinds of different things using different different materials that's the key you know you got to play around so anyway that's what we were looking at here and and you need it in a darkened room you're going to see all kinds of strange things will occur and you'll wonder all right I'm gonna go through these kind of fast not too much detail you decide what you see when you do these things if you can get this quality of shots which I think you're gonna have to spend some time <clears throat> now that's the pulsed laser this is the head of the laser this is polarized ether in the path of the crushed ether and they would call that a perturbation all right, you decide what you see. I see that same wave being crushed into a venturi, accelerating, stepping down, turning into the interference patterns that they see. I see those particles coming out at us as streams of particles turning into Higgs fields when they impact into the ether particles, turning into polarized fields surrounding the tiny, tiny, tiny little charge carrier which is streaming through through the air creating the field surrounding it exactly identical to an electron traveling through a wire creating the fields that surround that and you can do that in uh, iron filings be identical <clears throat> now this particle here is white and glowing and has no magnetic field why do you think that happened why is this one crushed not round like the others why is it a different color how could you get a shot like this? What is that? Is that the particle? Are these the fields compressing as they go and crush into the ether? That's the accelerator. Those are things that we see coming out every now and then. 
Why did the wave before not have a bump like that and this one does? Can you create one like that? This shows the particles coming out of the accelerator and that is one and this field makes a, a complete circular pattern around it. We see them carved in stone everywhere around the world. That appears to be the particle. This appears to be the excited ether that we've been talking about. See if you can get a shot like that. There's the accelerator coming out. There's those particles. See if you can find something like that. There's the particle. I've been analyzing it for three years now. I think I have some idea of what's causing this and these spikes. I could be totally wrong, but what do you think? Now understanding that ether, what we have just seen, is everywhere because it is light. Light goes everywhere. It does. It's glowing here because it's close. But once it reaches these regions, it just keeps going. It's still the same particles. They're still the same things that we just saw, particles. And now they're in outer space. That means we are scrubbing our arms against them, crushing our arms into the center, wrenching everything into the black hole of the Milky Way. That's what I see. Now, I want to make one point about the work that Rod and I did. This is not something you're going to be able to do in 10 minutes and say yes or no. This is going to take you some time. All right, because I know Rod spent an incredible amount of time at this, and he still does. It's not something he considers work, I don't think, but he's not, he's not interested in the atomic part of it whatsoever, and, and, and he's not, he doesn't want to engage in this side of it, so, and that's fine. But somebody's got to do this, and, 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 prove that what we have done is true and is real. Right? And then Rod is a, he's absolutely phenomenal at this, so hopefully someday he will want to be involved in this side of it. He's got a whole other thing going on. He thinks he can find things in the light that may be literally things that are in another dimension. Now they always talk about this, oh, wormholes and this and that and time travel, but as soon as anybody sees something like that, they're insane. And I know he got attacked something viciously, which I do, everybody does. And, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, I had nothing, I couldn't support him, and nobody can support something like that. You see it or you don't see it. And, 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 and people that don't see it are vicious, let me tell you something. People that don't see things can be extremely rude and and crude and vicious and that's what's happened for years and that's why all research is so damn hard to do that's all i have to say and i, I don't mean to be nasty about it but that's really by the bottom line and I, it's it's people fighting everything and when i say fighting everything they're not fighting it with evidence or saying oh this can't be right because of this this it is it's just you're an insane person because you you're just insane you didn't read the books I read, so you're insane. That's how they feel. And I've been reported, for, I just got reported again for spam. I've just put a post out about something like this. And they, right away, spam. This is like three times in a row. And, and Facebook just shuts you down. They don't care. So somebody do this research and prove that this is real. Because I can't get to anybody now. Because they don't like this. All right. Mudfoss University on YouTube. And um, try to help out and find this, uh, see if it's real or it's a fake. If it's fake, it's fake. If it's real, somebody will figure it out.